Go to Italy, they said. You'll have fun, they said. They didn't talk about the anxiety, depression, loneliness, language barrier, extremely expensive food, extremely expensive groceries, extremely expensive accommodation, extremely expensive basic necessities. But they also didn't talk about the freedom to walk, to run, to breathe. You don't need permission anymore from anyone, no one controlling you, no one harassing you or blaming you for getting harassed. No more guilt for tiny little things, like leaving the house after 10. You can do it. It's safe. Well, safer. You don't have to cook, not all the time, not if you don't want to. If you're a student like me, and if you're tired like me, and if you just want to get a pizza, then it's totally fine. And you don't have to give in to the societal expectation of being a woman in Pakistan. And no one's gonna get mad at you. No one's gonna say, it's the woman's job to do it. You can just exist. And no one told me about that. So let's talk about it. And that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. Hi everyone, most of you know me as Hamara because that is my name and today I will be talking about my experiences over the past six months of living in Italy. I came here for my masters so most of my experience is student-based and I hope you can find the answers you're looking for in this video. If not, drop down a comment, I will get back to you. Why did you choose Italy? I chose Florence because it's the perfect city to learn about art and design. I'm focusing on modern means of communication in a city that was home to the most genius artists and communicators of all time. A lot of investment was also going into this, so I wanted Florence to be a sort of contingency plan. The galleries and museums hold a lot of historic work, so I'm looking forward to seeing all of it. Is it easy to find a master's program in English? Yes, there are hundreds of them. Really depends on what field you're going for. For science and tech, you'll find many more courses in English. What was the visa process like and did you use an agent? My visa process was complicated but it's different from all European countries. I did not use an agent. Was it easy to get admission? I keep getting rejected. So it really depends on which university you're applying to and what their application process is like. I really didn't think I'd get in, so don't lose hope. Keep applying. Can I get admission with a 2.5 CGPA? Of course you can. Many places focus on skills, rather than your grades, so just make sure your portfolios kick ass. What was the total cost of the application process? My application was online, it cost about $100, and the visa process was 20,000 rupees. Can you work part-time while studying? Yes, you're allowed to work a limited number of hours, but it's really difficult to manage everything. If you can, go for it. What's the halal food situation like? There are many options. You can either buy halal chicken from the supermarket, or you can go to the kebab place. What scholarships are available? You can either get HEC scholarships in Pakistan, or you can figure out if your university is offering you any. How expensive is accommodation? There are a lot of factors to consider here. The area you're in, is it shared or solo? In the share, do you have your own bathroom or solo? But at the end of the day, you can get something for 350 euros. That's all for now. I hope this helps. Arrivederci.